Minister Peggy Kele has called for femicide cases to be reclassified as a Schedule 6 offence. Now, Schedule 6 offences include murder and premeditated murder. Perpetrators would have to prove exceptional circumstances why they should be granted bail. Now, this was ventilated at a femicide memorial lecture in Jabulani, Soweto, to honour those who died between April and May last year. Remembering the countless femicide victims, brutalized and violated, many who died at the hands of their partners, a memorial lecture in their honor, but also encouraging others to break their silence. For Karabo Mukwena, it came too late. Swift justice has enabled her family to work towards healing. I said, Karabo, if there's one thing that I do to myself is I protect my heart before anything else. I love myself before anything else. Before loving any person, I love myself. But for the families of Popitwabe and Bongeka Pungula, still no closure. Their killers are still at large. It was this very day when we last spoke to the girls. And till this day, we're still living in the past. I remember when this whole thing started. It was Mother's Day, and my sister had not said Happy Mother's Day to her mother. That was the last and the first. Now an appeal to the judiciary for femicide cases to receive a higher criminal classification. This society must be called upon to enter that campaign to say, not in our name, as a society, as the South Africans squeeze and close the space of all women abusers. The sort of women should be scheduled six if it is not scheduled six, which means that person doesn't get the pay. Also an impassioned plea to perpetrators. Help us to understand what are your challenges? What is the problem? What is it that makes you to commit such heinous crimes? It has become a concerted war and broadside against senseless femicide, where the ideal is a girl child, a mother, a child no longer afraid. Julian Pillay, SABC News, Soweto. Political leaders have spoken out about political killing.